Welcome back. In the previous part, we had an Ifrit versus Ifrit fight. It was awesome. And now we have a limit break. We also have some new abilities I want to look at here. Also, the menu seems to have switched to red. It was blue, but now it's red, which is very interesting. Ooh, so I can't fast travel down to Eastpool. That's interesting in itself. Okay, right. So let's see here. Oh, it is strange. I'm just wondering, like, how do we change the icon? Because at the moment, it's still the Phoenix. I'm wondering if changing over enough, like if I change this. Hmm. Let's have a look at the abilities then. So, so we've got the limit break there. Use L3 and R3 when limit break gauge is filled to semi-prime, improving battle performance for a short period of time. Oh, I need ability points. Ignition. Attack while charging. Look at that. Inflicting multiple hits and forcing the enemy back can be used in mid-air. Summon a storm of fireballs that circle around Clive, damaging nearby targets which also absorb damage. Ooh. We get both of these right now. And then we'll see about changing up my skills here to ignition. And will, will of the weeks. I do feel like the Phoenix shift. That's the thing I need to change to change the icon. Was there any other ability that I was looking at? Because the limit breaks that, so hmm. Yeah, that just seems to be central to Clive himself. I'm assuming we're going to get more around the edge, though. There's a lot of space. There's a lot of space. Right, anyway. You know what I could do? I could reset the abilities. Because some of them I'm not using now. And I'd like those points elsewhere. That might be worth doing. We'll see, though. Also, I want to check around that corner again with that circle door we saw. The fallen door. I wonder if that'll activate at all now. That was a growl. Torgal, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Where's he off to? Well, what about down here? I want to check this thing. There's gotta be a reason for it. Still nothing. Okay. Let's go see what's going on with Torgal. Where's he gone? Where has he gone? He must have really run off. There he is down there. What is it, boy? I see something through there. Is that flames? Something's on fire. Why? You. What happened here? Imperials. You'll pay for this. Oh. Oh. We've got a live one. What are you doing here? Answer me. Oh. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you deserve, oh. mate. It's over. Remember our orders? No survivors! Who would order such a thing? Over here. Stay down. Give them all you've got, boy. There's limit break. It's over. You know See about saving up to two bars of limit feel. Confused which way we're attacking there. There, boy. What's the meaning behind this? Why are they here? Thought you could escape us, did you, Branded? You were born a slave, and you'll die one. Kill all that 
Ducal dogs! Ducal dogs? They were innocent people! Sick of Toggle! There, boy! That's enough! You know what to do, boy! Too slow! Again, we're holding on for those two limit break bars there. Sick of Toggle! Get him! Sick of Toggle! Nice! There, boy! You will not take me! Get him, boy! I'm not going to use it just yet because. I don't feel like we should waste it. There's... Oh, I was going to say there's not enough around, but okay, let's see about limit break. Obviously, if we were on a boss or something, we'd wait until they were staggered until we did anything in terms of limit break. There, boy. Sick of Toggle. You done? Give them all you've got, boy. Put them all to the sword. There, oh no. Over here. Not this time. Get him, boy. I'll pull you away, okay. Sick of Toggle. Get over here. Over here. Get him, boy. Sick of Toggle. Over here. Stay down. All must burn! The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command! Yeah. My mother ordered this. Why? Clive. I know. You can wait. <laughs> Not this time. <sighs> Sick of Toggle! Get him! Not this time! Sick of Toggle! Not this time! You know what to do, boy! Get him, boy! Too slow! Sick of Toggle! Oh, so close to getting you then. Over here. Get him! Keep your distance, boy! Keep your distance, boy! Still only 10k there. Hmm. Get him, boy. Not this time. Sick of Toggle. You know what to do. Get him. Too slow. You know what to do, boy. Sick of Toggle. Don't let them get away. You know what to do, boy. Give them all you've got for it. There, boy. Get him, boy. 
You're done, mate. Yeah, we'll take it. I'm sorry, Lady Anna. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Too late! Gav! Clive! It's good to see Gav. It is. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Yes, Clive. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. There was just no need. No need at all. Oh. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kupka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Could that entire attack be just to find out where our base is? If it is, just... Oh, there's going to be hell to pay. Writing wrongs. Indeed. To Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. First, I want to see... So we've got more there, that makes sense though. What about our weapons and stuff? See if we can get those upgraded. Hey, there he is, Nectar. Bleh, careful you don't set that breath of light, Kupo. Jeez. Well, what's that for, you, dear? Uh, reinforcing, if anything. Guy blade, no. Nothing there feels good. Compared to what we've got, it's like, yeah, our stuff's quite good now, so. Kinda just need to leave it be. That it? Anyway. Fine. Yeah, whatever, mate. Whatever. Alright, let's go see Sid. Tell him the horrific news. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick breath. He's not gonna be happy.
This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end never realizing that they, too, deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. Ho oh, oh. ho! What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. The Final Fantasy theme. Loving it. Ah, oh, goosebumps immediately when it started up. Earlier? Oriflam? Oriflame? Council of Elders. And the last of our farm holds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Your radiance? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh... Oh, yeah. Well, I, 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 the gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Oh, 
<laughs> well, I mean, you know, the tea is nice. Yeah. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> oh, well, I never so. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. That won't be necessary. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. Well, there we go. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The higher-ups? The gods themselves? <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? <laughs> oh. 
I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> myself into. I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. Oh yes you are mate and there's some side quests around as well. But that's some of our theories potentially confirmed because Sid could be wrong which would mean therefore we're wrong. Which is entirely possible. Entirely possible. But what we'll do then is... Five, was it? Yes. We'll end this part here and in the next part we'll see about these two quests. The needs of the many. Outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. But we'll see about that in the next part. So, ta-da! For now.